Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 123, cold weather. Good morning, everybody. It's a blustery, cold Wednesday, December 13th. And uh, today I'm going to be dealing with the wind chill. And uh, oh, I just got up to make juice for Audrey. I like to make her green juice every morning. She takes it with her to work. And uh, I just popped my head outside to check out the weather. So with that wind chill, we're going to be uh, having a challenging day painting windows. <laughs> I don't know what I'm laughing about. <laughs> I guess I just try to keep in good spirits about these things. I've been doing this 40 years, and so I've been in all kinds of extreme weather, a plethora of uh, conditions from uh, heat up to 105, or actually up to 120, because when the sun hits the windows, if you're painting a window and it's 105 out, and you're in direct sunlight, I've used umbrellas and water to keep me from burning up. And uh, I've also been in uh, temperatures as low as uh, six degrees. So I've done it all. As I get older though, I am uh, less and less inclined to get out there and take on the weather. <laughs> But I still do it sometimes, like today. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to do stuff because I have probably, I don't know how many jobs to do right now. I will not be able to do them all in time for Christmas. Just tell you that. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a little bit after I take a shower and get moving for the day. We're in the wind chill right now. It feels like it's 22 degrees at the airport. Feels like 19 tracked up. Feels like mainly into the mid 20s out there, Hillsboro, uh, with their cold temperature and the winds. The wind chill is takes it down to 22 degrees. This is the one of the ways I stay warm is I put on a ton of clothes. I put on two pairs of these socks. They're really thick, warm socks, and uh, start with two T-shirts. And then on top of that, I put this. This is a 32 degree thin thermal uh, cold blocking uh, shirt. And then I have the pants that go with it too. These are thermals, type of thin thermal. And then on top of that, I have some regular thermals to go over that and a regular thermal to go over that thermal. And I have all kinds of hats and hoods and stuff for protect my head and gloves lots of gloves I have bunches of these gloves I change out and I have a, a a hoodie and also a jacket too and of course my shoes and my pants <laughs> but uh, yeah these are all the items I wear in order to get ready and uh, if, it, if I get too warm I just start peeling them off like I'll, I'll I'll take off the jacket, and then I'll take off the thermal. I'll take off one of these, but usually I leave them. I leave it all on during this type of uh, wind chill when it's you know getting down into the twenties or teens. Hey everybody, how's it going? Wow, it is windy and it is cold, and we're getting a little bit of snow already. But it looks like we got some. Uh, up to 45 mile an hour gusts, so this is going to be fun and challenging. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. I've been in it before, but as I said before, I'm getting older, so I'm not really into it as much as I used to be when I was young. The challenge of it all, that is. But uh, I'm getting kind of a late start because I, I, for one, had to get prepared and get all my clothes out and all that. And I ate a big giant bowl of beans and I also ate a big giant bowl of oatmeal like I showed on the video yesterday and uh, I've got all kinds of things I'm juggling right now it's getting down to the wire when uh, people want their windows done for Christmas so I had a call from a car dealer the other day so I keep been trying to call them back but they keep they keep referring me to other people there's two Tim's there so it's confusing it's like which Tim do you want okay is Okay, so you have two Tims. Is the other Tim there? And uh, I don't remember. He didn't leave his last name. So I've been calling them for the last two days because I've been wanting to just do them. And then uh, I also had some work I had to do at Santiam Bike. They were scheduled for the 14th. I mean the 13th. So, uh, or no, the 14th, which is today. Anyway, um, 
I uh, I called them and I was going to go do that job, but they decided they're just going to leave up the stuff they have already and forego the Christmas stuff. So I had to nix that. And then I got an email from uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, who I uh, it's kind of bothersome because I'm vegan, so it's kind of I mean obvious hypocrisy working for them being a vegan and all but you know I've got a family and I you know I've been painting windows for 40 years and I've only been vegan for five years and uh, maybe at some point I'll retire the account but for right now you know it's about money and it's about family it's the holidays and uh, and it's my job so I'm gonna do them of course for now that's my choice but yeah, it does kind of bug me a little anyway uh, so that's what I've been doing all morning too, is working on some vinyl graphics for KFC. And uh, I'm a graphic artist, I've done a lot of graphic design, a lot of, a lot of ads, a lot of logos. I've made thousands of uh, newspaper ads and different things back in the day. But, uh, so I went ahead and uh, designed some uh, stuff for the pot pies which they're promoting. So I have some decals I'm going to be putting on the window. And, uh, and then I also, uh, you know, I paint. I paint part of it too, but it makes it easier for like the drive through and the smaller little windows to just have a decal you can stick on there. So anyway, that's what I'm up to. So I'm going to uh, head to one of the KFCs and, uh, and go ahead and uh, do their window in this weather. <laughs> I've got to wash off the old one too first. So. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Our journey takes us north to Mount Hood. Our final destination is Kentucky Fried Chicken in Sandy, Oregon. Nine miles out from Gresham. It's bitter and it's cold, but we can do it if we stick together. I know we can. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> All right, we're in Sandy, Oregon, and our destination, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm going to be taking off this stuff and putting up some pot pies. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a little bit of snow coming down, but not too much, but it is cold. So I'm going to back in right here. Yeah, I got to take off this lemonade stuff. Yeah, I guess nobody is uh, nobody's in line for uh, <laughs> strawberry lemonade this time of year. <clears throat> so they're going to remove that and put up the pot pies. All right, let's head inside and check it out. I'm gonna let them know we're here. <laughs> Be washing off your window. Oh, you're gonna be washing off the window? What, yeah. That? Yeah. Nobody's standing in line for strawberry lemonade, right? No. Okay. I'm Are you putting something new or just getting it off? I'm putting pot pies, hot pot pies. Up. Oh, really? What does oh, the picture look like? What's that? Do you know what the picture looks like? Are you putting it up right well, now? Well, actually, I have some vinyl graphics, so I'm gonna put up part vinyl and I'm gonna hand letter part of it. <clears throat> so no goofy characters this time. <laughs> oh, but I really, I like the farting strawberry. Yeah. So I'm going to come in and get a bunch of hot water and uh, remove that and get the uh, other stuff up. You're actually the first store. Oh, cool. I decided oh. I'd get this one done because it's awesome. kind of out of the way from the other stores. So, all right, I'll get started. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So this guy's got to come down. Stay cool with a strawberry lemonade. <laughs> Who wants to stay cool? We're freezing. Premium strawberry lemonade. This guy's nice. He's like, yeah, I'm pretty sour, but tasty when you add me to the strawberry. 
We got some snow flying around a little bit. This should be challenging. Okay, this is how you wash windows off when it's freezing cold. <laughs> My arms are bare right now because they're going to get wet as I wash the windows. But uh, basically what you do is you get your super hot water, hot water from inside down here and then you start washing these off. And when your hands start freezing in about two or three minutes, you stick them in hot water and repeat. <laughs> That's too hot. Okay, it's all done. I got it washed off. It seems improbable that you could do that in this kind of weather, <laughs> but it is totally possible. It's just you got to go a lot slower. I, uh, these windows I could probably wash off in 15, 20 minutes uh, if it was in, you know, the summer or something, or maybe even, maybe even less. But uh, with this kind of weather, you, you have to almost double your time because you just, you have to stop and you have to take care of your hands. <clears throat> I've tried using gloves before, like really thick gloves, waterproof gloves, um, but somehow the water seems to get on the pole and it gets back underneath the glove. And once they get wet, you're kind of messed up. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm going to start laying out the color, laying down some stuff. Uh, maybe I'll do the vinyl first on the doors too, though, and the drive through. So after about 30 minutes, this water is still a little bit warm. It's not hot, but it is warm. You can see it's steaming. But I also use the propane. Just have it sort of sitting in the back of my car with it open. And I can come in here and warm up and uh, get my hands nice and dry. I can start using gloves now and because uh, I'm not dealing with water. <clears throat> but uh, I may go in and get a whole other batch of this hot water just to have, because it works really fast in warming your up, your hands. I'll probably use both. Okay, now I got the bigger one here. I'm gonna put it on the door. Hands are starting to freeze. Woo -hoo -hoo. The hands are starting to freeze. <laughs> oh man, Whew, that feels good. So you see the routine. <laughs>
And I have a stove too, a propane stove where I can heat water too and keep it hot. <clears throat> but I didn't bring that today because it's not quite that cold yet. I mean, it's cold, but when it gets down into the single digits, then you got to have your propane stove with your hot water boiling and you can uh, feel safe like that. Well, it is definitely coming down now, but uh, one good thing, it's blowing away from where I'm working. It's actually blowing the other direction. So, or it's kind of blowing everywhere now. <laughs> On second thought. <laughs> Okay, this is my final decal. It's just a shot of the pie. So, get the window wet. Same deal, just plop it down. Wet this side too, helps hold it down. Peel this off. I just, what I do is I just hold this down so it sticks to the water. So I can remove it. Wet it. <laughs> Flip it. I like putting them at angles because they kind of stand out more, you know? It makes them look cool. Like that. I think it makes people look at it more. It's not just some square block. And the reason I do these graphics is I've got 17 stores to do. And it's, it's more economical just to print out part of it. And I've painted the pot pies before too, and I can do it. But you can see it, you can see how much quicker this is. Some people are like, oh, vinyl, vinyl sucks. But yeah, it does, but it has its place. And I have the printer, so I might as well use it. Okay, so all the vinyls on there now. I'm gonna put $5.99 there. And up there I'll put uh, warm up with winter, a winter pot pie or whatever it says. Oh, there it is. Warm up to a winter with, with a pot pie combo. Okay, this is how you keep your paint warm. Now you can have a, a stove where you boil the water, but I just went inside and got hot water. And just put in a little, you put your bucket bit down under there, and then you can take your tray and you just let it sit in there, let it float around. And uh, that's going to keep it from freezing. <laughs> and uh, what I do sometimes is I'll have this, is I'll set the gallons of paint right in here, or the containers of paint too. But that'll keep your paint from freezing. So yeah, you can actually set the container right down in the water too. Despite the cold, my feet seem to be doing okay. They're, uh, they're not cold. They're a tiny bit cold, but not really that bad. Um, the problem with feet is when they get wet, you know. And even though I could spray, uh, you know, a repellent on these shoes, They'll probably still get wet, but I've got boots too if it gets really cold. I got some pretty thick, thick boots that are waterproof too. But these are pretty warm right now.
Okay, I've got uh, I've got the blue blend on the top, and then the pot pie is dry. Dries pretty fast because even though the it's snowing and it's cold, the humidity is fairly low, so it's drying pretty quick. And then I've got this uh, orange blast thing too. I'm going to cut that out like a burst, and I'm going to put combo there. So it's a pot pie combo, five ninety nine. So the other thing you can do, you can go inside and warm up, take a break if you're going to have lunch or something. Or you can sit in your car with the heater on. That's what I do. But uh, it is starting to come down now. And uh, the breeze is still going. So, But it isn't too bad, actually. You know, once you, you do all the right things, you can, it, you can actually paint in this. Now, if you want to be out for eight hours, that's a different story. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to head inside and take a little break. How do you like my haircut? Nice. <laughs> Can I get a cup for water? Or no, just a cup for water. I'm gonna get some water. Here you go, dude. Thank you. It's pretty cold. You can mount it on your chest, or you can a GoPro. Put, yeah, you can put it on your head like a helmet. You know, I don't, works pretty good. That would be ideal because I have harassers. You gotta put a surveillance on your neighbors. You said mm -hmm. <laughs> they're hassling you or mm -hmm. messing with you. Yeah, just over here off the university in Sunset. Oh, um, it's a court. You know, and I don't see how they got. Permission to to just have one driveway, one entrance. Uh -huh. There's only one entrance in there, you know. So they think they could do anything and everything. And I think it's just drugs. You know? Oh, yeah. Where everybody knows everybody, they don't see nothing when stuff happens. Oh, right, right. Uh -huh. That's good. You that. can get them a lot cheaper than this. This is not cheap. How much? This is four hundred dollars. But you can get surveillance cameras for probably a lot less. Go online. Do you go online at all? I've been looking at some. And the cheapest I've seen was $100. But that's, the thing is... That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I seen one off the TV to where it gave the circular view. Oh, it goes back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gave that kind of movement. So that'd be just great, you know, because it comes to the door. It's a harassing <laughs> Okay, I had my short break. I'm going to head back out and uh, finish up. <laughs> okay, I want to make a... Go ahead and make a, um, a dark orange to have it match with the... Um, with the other stuff, with the burst. And orange is good to use with blue. It's the uh, opposite. So, this red's pretty powerful, so it should produce a dark orange with just a little amount of color. Yeah, you can see it. It doesn't take much red. Red will overpower the yellow. But I didn't want to use red on this. I just think the dark orange will look better. And then I'm going to use this to fill in the pot pie. I think I'm going to add a little more red. It's not quite as dark as I want it. So. Okay, I think this orange will work for me. Yeah, this is dark enough. And you know, it, as you know, it'll dry darker even. So you can see that white's good and dry underneath. 
because the wind's blowing helps it dry even though I use the leaf blower on it too yeah this will look good I'm painting in the snow just painting don't you know having fun this time of year maybe I'll have a beer when I'm done with this and this pot pie is done just singing and dancing in the snow do 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 <laughs> this paint here started freezing well this is actually the the black bucket with the water in it and it's starting to build get ice crystals got snow on top <laughs> and uh, my propane heater kind of petered out so I'm gonna have to rely on this hot water to keep me warm it's still a little bit warm here all right and uh, I, be, I kept this in the water here so it didn't freeze. But yeah, this really just slows you down when you have to do all this stuff. Okay, it's, uh, it's all finished. I got the stuff on the doors, the decal, and I got the decal on the, um, the drive-thru area, or the side drive-thru where they make the order, and then when they actually pick up the order, I got it over there too. And then I got this uh, warm-up to winter with a pot pie combo 599 right here, with a big picture of a pot pie, with the orange and blue lettering. Okay, so, I guess I'm out of here. <laughs> out of here from KFC and Sandy. And as you can see, it's really starting to really starting to come down. Anyway, I'll see you later. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Be sure and like this, share it with others. Let people know that window the Bob Ross of window painting is here. <laughs> Somebody called me that the other day. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out on this cold, snowy, wintry day. And I hope uh, you learned a few things. I'll probably make this a tutorial. Anyway, I'm cold. I gotta get inside. Okay, see ya. Bye.